for me, what I've noticed over the years is that when I live my life in this way, when I get a lot of sunlight, I just simply feel, I feel more vital. I feel more driven. I feel more energy. I feel like more solid and robust. Like I can, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just more capable of tackling my life, the things I need to do. Uh, my recovery is better from, you know, athletic stuff. I sleep better. I have lower, better stress management, lower anxiety. And I mean, I'm just happier. Like I'm, I, I've, 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 I've made this kind of argument a couple times on a few podcasts that um, I actually believe like happiness is literally just a function of sunlight. And I like to distinguish happiness, which I consider like a mood state from like purpose or meaning or life mm -hmm. satisfaction. Those are different concepts, right? I'm not saying just getting sun fulfills all of your psychological needs. But if we define happiness as being in a happy mood or not a happy mood, I think that that equation sunlights the primary input. And when I get a lot of sun, I'm in a great mood. And if I don't, it's not as good. And I've seen this play out for close to a decade where when my light environment gets interrupted, either due to travel or work or something, or it like rains for two weeks, or it's like super cold, I'm stuck inside, whatever. Um, I'm a different person, right? Like I'm a different person. It, and it's led me to just feel that who we are and what parts of ourselves come out and are expressed, you can't separate that from your light environment. Like there's a lot of other factors you can't separate it from either, but um, I experience myself to be a different person. Um, yeah. And it has been one of the most profoundly impactful variables on my life. So, you know, if you can be motivated by like the long term health view, that's awesome. But you don't need to be. And it's this is one of these wonderful things where you don't need to do this arcane thing for months to maybe see results on some blood test. You can just do it for like four days. Yeah. and just notice the difference like this isn't hard yeah it happens really quickly and to your point about the mood state that has been made so clear to me so i'm in new york state yeah. and we're just coming into spring so we're in that time of year where it's like it's like it's been gray it's been cold it's been this and then the sun will come out for a few days and the mood of everybody everyone like our entire household everyone you see outside it's like it's lifted immediately yeah. just by having the the sunlight come down on our faces <laughs> by choosing to live inside you are experiencing permanent seasonal affective disorder is the way yes. i see it like you are literally choosing to live in winter all the time it is a respectfully and, and this was me once upon a time too right so like i get it this isn't an insult but it is an insane decision it is an insane <laughs> decision you do not have choice here you do not have autonomy here you will be impacted by this you either live inside and it's fucking december all the time and you have like permanent seasonal affective disorder even if you say steven i feel kind of okay okay but what percentage of 100% of your personal okay do you feel? You're accepting easily a double digit reduction in well being. If you feel okay, fine. You could feel 30% better all the time. Or for many people, the number's probably much larger than that. Yes. But it's and we have so lowered our standard of what okay feels like. Exactly. Right. Every time I implement a new. Yeah level of this and i'm like oh i thought i felt okay but now i didn't know i could feel like this right like we forget what it feels like to feel mostly good 